So, what would we do if we are told to calculate the area, the total area, bounded by the x-axis and the function y equals sine of x? And we need to calculate it between a 0 to 2 pi. Well, what we would do is we would do an integral. We're going to do an integral from 0 to 2 pi. And this one needs a 2 in front of it. 2 pi. And we're going to have to pay attention because this will give us the net area between the two. And we're going to do a little adjustment to make sure we get the total area. All right, let's get to it. First, uh, we're going to break it up in two. We could do it as one integral too, but I'm going to break it up in two. So we can see the actual part that we have to change a little bit in order to get the total area, not the net area. So I'm going to break this up in two integrals and it's going to be from 0 to pi of sine of x dx plus the integral from pi to 2 pi of sine x dx. Now, since I'm going to make a little graph here so we can visually understand it a little bit better, this would be 0, this would be pi, and this would be 2 pi. Now, since sine is going to go like this, This is the area that we're interested in, from 0 to 2 pi. If we're going to leave it like this, we're going to get the net area, which is this plus this. This is positive, negative, and since they are equal in size, the net area will be 0. But we want the total area. So, we broke it in two pieces, from 0 to pi. It's already positive, so we're going to leave it alone. Plus from pi to 2 pi in order to don't be negative anymore we're just gonna put it in absolute values that's all that we're gonna do to it and this way both values it's gonna be positive we can add them up and we're gonna get the total area alright let's continue integral of sine simple formula is going to be negative cosine of x evaluate it from 0 to pi plus the absolute value of negative cosine of x evaluated from pi to 2 pi Your absolute value closed equals we're going to plug in pi minus plug in 0 we're gonna get negative 1 minus 1 minus the absolute value and we're gonna get 1 minus minus 1 closed and this will be like that this equals 2 plus 2, which will give us a total area of 4. This would be our total area.